Bonjour, c'est moi, Dene. Welcome back to another episode of Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise, here on my channel. In the last episode, we went into the singularity again, where we still are. Uh, we met our friends with the scissors again, and we also met a new kind of enemy. Uh, already forgot its name, holy shit, but uh, yeah, um, some pharaoh-looking guy with a door um, on his back for some reason, who can let loose <laughs> some spiders, uh, but yeah, well, again, like I said in the past episode, uh, it seems like he seems tougher than he is, and well, luckily, we can we could take them out, and we probably will have to take more out uh, with just a few shots. And well, after I don't know, between twenty and twenty-five minutes, we found the portal, which led us here into the dining room of the Clarksons, where we did some profiling and found out that Lena came, well, seemingly to kill her dad, but uh, yeah, she said something uh, about uh, things going deeper than that and, uh, you know, that she had deeper plans and that she didn't come to snuff anything out, but then the shooting started and, well, I don't know, well, well it was a still image, so to say, we only heard what happened. So, yeah, we're not too sure what exactly went down, but I guess we're gonna find out as soon as we step through this portal, make our way through the house again, and then probably end up in the next boss battle. And speaking of boss battle, I know I was just at the toolbox in the last episode, twice actually, but, you know, just to make sure, in that case, we have two more slots, okay. Uh... Send one of those away. Get another large first aid kit. Send cola and root beer away. <laughs> get a medium first aid kit. Um, and get some more bullets. And I think that should do it. Again, I don't think there will uh, we will jump into the next boss fight right away. But, you know, better safe than sorry. Let's just go in prepared. Because I also don't know how challenging the next sequence will be the next <laughs> regular nightmare sequence before the boss battle which i'm assuming is coming up and it is i was right so again better safe than sorry now i feel pretty confident let's see how long this feeling will last he almost got me son of a bitch Oh! Ah! Right here! Yeah, fuck you too! Oh, damn, that had style. I thought he was gonna get us first, but no, we got him first. Uh, I was about to say, but I can't move for some reason, but now I can, okay. Hello? Yeah, nothing to the left, nothing to the right, so let's just go through the door. Ah, there's the enemy I was talking about a few minutes ago. Of course. Oh. We don't want to risk anything. Ha! I knew that there would be more enemies. Not my fault, he had to reload like he always says. How many are here?! Let me get some distance first. Not my fault, again. I'm just lucky we stocked up on um, first aid kits, am I right? Come here. You want me more than I want you, so move your fucking ass. first aid kit before I pick anything else up. Let me use that first aid kit. Yeah, 275 I think is fine. Cup of coffee. 
And cup of coffee. More coffee we don't need right now. Although actually, maybe we do. <laughs> Just saying. Uh, you know, because our concentration is over half depleted. <laughs> Oh! That little bitch was waiting behind the crate. Ah, shouldn't be able to come through here, right? Ow! Whoa, whoa, whoa. No, sir, no, sir. That's not how it works. You can't just ignore the laws of physics. You don't get to walk through tables if I don't get to walk through tables. Ex fucking excuse me. Pa. Think they can do anything just because they're supernatural. Don't mind me just picking stuff up. Oh. Uh, how many shots do I have? Just one, right? Oh no! <laughs> Good thing I checked that out and reloaded right now before we have some nasty surprises. Although I don't think there won't be any more nasty surprises up here, but down there, certainly. <laughs> Ah, huh? what did I tell you? Come here. I'm still wondering what's up with all of those fragments that they drop that we can pick up. They must serve a purpose if we can pick them up, right? That was lame, but why doesn't it unlock? Uh, so there must be another enemy somewhere, I'm assuming. And for some reason I missed that door? I came in this way, right? I came through here, and then I... This was where the crate was, and then... Yes? How did I miss <laughs> that door, in all honesty? But yeah, let's just go in. Shoot open the crate first. And let the camera spin. Okay, well we have we can cause an explosion, so I'm already expecting a lot of enemies once we are in here. Oh Fuck you! I'm paralyzed. Yeah, great! Fucking bitch! Wasted it. Great! Yes! Great! This is going swell! Shoot! Why didn't he shoot? I charged it up twice! They don't give a shit about it! No concentration, great. Did we glitch this enemy? Just asking. He, he was jumping to attack us. And then he froze mid-air, because our uh, supercharged shot hit him. And then he was descending very slowly, and then he... he was he just... I didn't pay attention to him because I was busy shooting the other enemies, but did he just float on the ground all the time and still attack us? Or did I see that wrong? Okay, well first of all, you already know what we're gonna have to do. We're gonna drink a whole lot of coffee. 
And now, how much will the... Let's just take the medium first aid kit. I'm just hoping that we will get to uh, a safe room before we meet the boss. And that I can arrange stuff with the toolbox again. I'm hoping. <laughs> huh? Why? He. Oh, I swear this game is so buggy. For fuck's sake. Yes, I've seen you. I'm getting sick and tired of this reloading. Why does this weapon only take 10 shots? Only 10 rounds. Because I can't get a better one, right? Mr. Alligator is the only weapon we can get in th we can get in this game, I think. Thank you. I'm just happy that this wasn't the boss. <laughs> and it'll, it'll be even more fun in just a few minutes. Okay, I think we checked everything out and this is the way to go, right? It seems like this is the way to go. Yeah, this should be the way to go. Will somebody spawn again? Oh no. What a surprise. Actually, it is. Okay. You know the drill, shoot open the crate first. And again, take the camera around the corner. But there's nobody in here. They will spawn as soon as we go in. I took damage, but I took out the most intimidating enemy! No, I do not see it. Stressful. How many shots? Five, okay. So we have 368 bullets in total. Okay. Keep that number in mind. If we run out of bullets, I'm gonna blame you, even though you're not here with me. Huh. What you get for standing next to a barrel that will explode on impact. And that's what you get for taking so long to turn around. No, in all honesty, I'm happy you take so long. You took so long. But still, I'm gonna take a small first aid kit. And we do have more coffee, right? Or did I... Oh, we have one more coffee, okay. Well, yeah better than nothing. We have plenty more in the toolbox. I'm gonna drink that in a second. Ah, reload real quick before anything bad happens. Large first aid kit, okay. Come on, come out, come out, wherever you are. I wasted a shot. Let's waste another one and reload. Just to be on the safe side, as always. <laughs> as always, he said. After he was attacked, I don't know how many times, because he ran out of bullets, but yeah. Uh -huh, another big area.
careful. Interesting that, you know, you'd think they would spawn as soon as you step in, but as you can see, you have to go in much deeper, much further, before anybody spawns. And there's nobody spawning even now that I'm at the end of the room. Hello, what's up with that? Ah, oh! <laughs> Fucking bitch! Shitting me. I even moved away. He There's no way he could have predicted where I would be going. No more concentration, okay. Okay. I'll say it again, I'm just happy that I went to the toolbox before we moved on. I didn't anticipate to use that much stuff before the boss battle itself, but yeah, good thing I did that. Aha, and this is the end, but will there be more enemies waiting for us here? Doesn't seem like that's the case. Okay, let's just go through the portal. Which hopefully will lead us to a safe room before it leads us to the uh, battle arena. Hopefully. Oh, now this is a surprise. Huh, Zach. The, this actually is a surprise. I didn't expect to come across another profile. You're surprised. Oh! This is my house. Okay, I'm assuming he is dead and this actually is his spirit talking to us. And I can set foot wherever I please within my own house. Or is that against the law now too, FBI? Holy shit. Where's Professor R? I know she came here. 100 years ago, my father, Isaac Clarkson, came to this town and subjugated its people with his might. In time, he created an empire that put the entire southwest region of Louisiana right in the palm of his hand. Whenever any of his kin betrayed him, he cut them limb from limb and make an example of them. So... Galena also betrayed him, and he did the same to her, is that what you're saying? Uh, you did the same to her, is that what you're saying? The shadows need a way of keeping the balance too, you see. That's why the seven roots exist. Sometimes they chop a fella's ears off, maybe scoop his eyes out. Then they chop off all the limbs. Mm -hmm. By the way, they all ended up looking the same in the end. No different from mixing up the ingredients in your food. Mm. Oh. This, this is sick. Why would any soul ever need to line up the stumps all neat like this? What's happening in Lucari right now ain't right. It ain't nothing like what we got up to back in my day. You know, kind of feels like what you call pure evil. So, does PJ... Well, PJ obviously has a dark past with the Clarkson clan, let's just call it that. But do maybe his uh, estranged children have come back to Le Carre, do nasty shit to people and blame it on him? I'll be real honest here. Right now, I'm afraid. The evil that's taking this era by the balls is trying to gobble up Lucare too. Francis York Morgan, <laughs> you FBI son of a bitch. Just what in hell did you come to this town for? Well, I hate to rain on your sensational parade of a monologue, but my answer is simple. I came here chasing a drug called San Rouge that's been steadily permeating the southern states. 
and I plan to arrest all the perpetrators involved in the name of justice. <laughs> oh, you sure sound like a devil, all right. So be it. You're free to interpret my words any way you like. Well, interpret this. You've come here to bring death and destruction to our town, or well, my name isn't P.J. Clarkson. I'm sorry, but what, but what do I have to do with this? I, I, I ain't bringing anything to this town. You leave a mountain of corpses in your way. Do I kill them? I don't think so. So go on and suffer in the name of justice or whatever you want to call it. <laughs> <laughs> Deranged psycho. What is he talking about? Zack, I'm willing to do whatever it takes to prove that we fight on the side of justice. But we do! You don't have to prove anybody! But why was Philip here in the first place? Why was he able to talk to us, and what was he even talking about? I thought we were inside her mind. Oh. So this is where the singularity always is. And maybe we are in her mind then, and there's weird shit going on? I don't know. Hmm. No need to answer, Zach. I already did. The only reason this world's so fun is because of all the mysteries it holds. Mysteries should be solved. It drives me up the fucking wall if there's a weird mystery that, gets, that never gets solved, you know? Okay. So no profile, but a weird... Interlude? I don't know. Uh, per perfume? Oh, yeah, perfume, right. Body odor, remember? <laughs> Just happy that I won't have to buy any more. No, wait, before I go there... Oh, I can save in here. So... But do I have a toolbox? I don't, right? I don't see a toolbox. Anyway, let's pick this up then. Acquired Galena's doll. The doll Galena was look Ah The doll Galena was looking for it kind of looks like Lise. Well, I don't think she has that much use for it now, does she? Let's save here. Even though there is no uh uh You know what? Uh the toolbox, even though there is no toolbox. Hmm. Please don't throw me right into the ring. Because I need some stuff from the toolbox first. I seriously do. Even if it means going through endless hallways again, please let me do that, but I need my toolbox. Okay, okay, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. It, it'll take much longer than the first one then, but that's fine. As long as I get my toolbox. Great! Oh, now the bitch turns around, of course! Oh, 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 how many are here? Holy shit, okay, we're gonna die. Oh, the spiders explode, that's what this is, okay? Not, ex not exploding kittens, but exploding spiders. Turn around, you coward! Uh. Oh, we are taking damage left and right. This is not good. Not good at all. But this was locked off and it seems like... Or... Is this just a room, or...? No, we're moving on through here. Yes, we are. Okay. In that case, we're going back. And then to the left? No, of course not. To the right. Can't go back here. It also doesn't seem like there is anything back there. It's weird that this is blocked off. Like, why? What's the purpose of putting these here? 
if there isn't even anything behind them. Turn around! Getting sick and tired of these fuckers using their shield. Ahem, <laughs> excuse me? Could yes, thank you. Could you despawn or explode already? Hmm. Oh, I hate it. Why do I have so many ways again? Yes, I knew you were there, and I'm serving you. Just wait, stand in line, there are more people here than just you, who want something. <sighs> Good thing we have large first aid kits, right? The medium ones won't... Okay. They would be enough. Okay, then let's use them. Okay. The coffee again. Yes. Yes, the spiders. Oh, I didn't even see him. Also, why is there a warning of electrocution on the door? That's what this sign is standing for, right? Just saying. First of all, if this is a rundown farmhouse, second of all, if this is all in somebody's set. Well, I guess if it is in somebody's set, that would make sense in a way, because it's weird. It doesn't make sense, you know? Yeah, I don't know. This is too elaborate! I don't know where I should go! No, then let me go back! Then let me go through the other door! Oh, oopsie! <laughs> Patience is a virtue. Okay, but this is a dead end, hopefully, finally. Yes, it is, okay. Stop running! Okay. Do we have here? Uh oh, okay. This doesn't seem good. I always like getting that stuff, but again, you know, one of the essential rules whenever you get showered in good stuff is never a good sign. Don't waste my stamina. Because I'm gonna need it. When I have to run again. <laughs> ah. You could hear him from a mile away. <laughs> He's getting ready to charge, but too late. Too little, too late. There's another door! We just passed one that's grown shut, just like this one. Why can't you never shoot it when it's right in front of you? Because again, this isn't my fault.
Okay, is it this one that's... Yeah, it's this one in here that's just opened up. Okay. Okay, that works, I guess. You know, with those guys, you always gotta be careful how you charge your shot. You should only have them in focus, because, uh, as you see, otherwise, York will focus on the spiders, which doesn't make sense at all. Well, it makes sense that he focuses on them, but he shouldn't focus on them, because they aren't that big of a threat. I don't believe it. I also don't believe how we aren't dead yet. Leave me alone and I leave you alone. Why is that so hard to understand? This is a dead end, right? There is no door, no, no door in here, so, yeah. Sometimes it's a bit confusing where you should go, you know? And it's getting more and more confusing with every singularity we encounter. So I'm already, yeah, waste more shots, why not? Yay, yippee yay, yay. I'm feeling happy today. Let, come on, why not, let's waste another 10 shots. Just because it's you. Well, anyway, what I wanted to say is, uh, I'm already looking forward to the next to the coming singularities. I'm assuming there will be more, but I think there will be more. Uh, if this one is already so confusing as it is. <laughs> I hear somebody walking. Oh, yeah, makes sense, I guess. Because... Why did you respawn? What I wanted to say was, I guess it makes sense, because... Um, why do they respawn? What kind of shit is this? Uh, it makes sense, because there is another room we haven't gone into yet. Don't mind me, just rushing through. I saw something right there. That's also not a good sign. But where was the door? I don't know, to be honest. Was it here? I really don't. <laughs> I don't see it on the mini-map. And this is a dead end. This is a dead end, right? Yes. Well, it can't take that long to find the door. I must have run past it already. Just didn't see it. Because I had other things to worry about, like enemies attacking me. No, definitely not here. Okay, so, not to the right either, so it must be somewhere around here. Oh, they, ooh, they dropped something. Oh, there it is. I, what did I tell you? I ran past it. Let's go in then, shall we? Ah. No, of course not. Ah! I was about to say. Clear line, but we can't shoot. <laughs> yes, I've seen you. Uh-oh. If 
they could stop running already, I would be very happy. No, you won't control me, girl. Holy shit. I'm just waiting for the safe room to come up because it's t <laughs> sometime soon it should come up. You'd think it would come up sometime soon. But... I'm gonna use another first aid kit. And I don't think we picked up a coffee, did we? Let's see. Oh, we did! Great! Now then, where are we now? Still not over, okay. Nothing here. Another hallway. He doesn't move an inch! For fuck's sake! Too little, too late, as always. Aha! Now then! Let's go in and see where we come out now. Been recording for over 37 minutes now. I would like to I wanted to end this episode uh in a safe room or at least at a point where I could save. Otherwise, I would have ended it already and pff, another sequence, okay. Oh, I see a phone. So we can save in here. I grew up in this room. Oh. Lena. Story time. As my back broke under all my father's expectations. Your cocktail was delicious. So delicious, in fact, <laughs> that it carried me off into a dream. <laughs> Professor R, what did you hope to achieve by coming back to this house? I don't believe for a moment that you'd ever risk your life just to get revenge on your father. <laughs> Leonard Clarkson. That was my name when I lived here. Everyone called me Lenny. My father taught me all sorts of things, so that I would grow up to become a proper heir. How to manipulate people. How to properly use tools, such as violence and rewards. But I could never bring myself to care about any of it. You left this place in order to find your true self. But what did that achieve? In the end, you fell back into Lucare. And now you spend your time selling the new drug you created, preying on the weak. You and the Clarksons are exactly alike in that regard. No, you choose your victims indiscriminately, which makes you even uglier. Some people find joy in ruining themselves, offering up their lives to whatever they worship. This cycle has repeated itself since long ago. To me, it's the most noble of actions. Surely you must agree, Agent Morgan. Stop trying to rationalize your crimes with that dramatic gibberish. Vici situdo, the Latin word used to describe a fluctuation between two polar opposites. Galena's body wasn't a declaration of war. It was this, wasn't it? Those severed roots were fakes. Who did you force to kill Galena? I can't believe you figured out that much. You're dangerous. What you're talking about is true madness, not some noble fairy tale. <laughs> you're going to shoot me. Okay, 
Go ahead and shoot. Come on! Shoot me! Uh, the Clarkson bloodline is cursed. It needs purification. A blood purge! <laughs> Okay. Blood. Okay. Uh, well, Lena. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I don't know what to say to that just yet. <laughs> uh, let's just move on. But yeah, taking a look at my stopwatch, I've been recording for a little over 41 minutes now. So you know what that means. Thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you again very soon in the next episode of Deadly Premonition 2, A Blessing in Disguise. Or in another game here on my channel. Bye!